Now, Gauteng authorities are concerned about this festive season's road accident death toll. A total of 80 people have died on the province's roads so far. And Gauteng traffic police say this figure is unacceptable. Let's get more now from their spokesperson, Selo Maramane, who joins us virtually. Selo, thank you so much for your time this evening. You're coming to us from your car, which means you're on the job. Um, we're only on the 31st of December. It's New Year's Eve already. I was just speaking to friends and colleagues today, and everybody's quite a few people saying, I'm staying at home. The last thing you want to do is be somewhere for New Year's Eve and then be on the roads because everybody knows after midnight, that's when it's the silly season on the roads and your, you and your colleagues have to deal with that. Um, around 80 people have already died. Um, uh, is it too early to say what the main causes are? Is it uh, travelers coming back into the province from bringing across in other provinces? Is it people who are partying? Uh, where are you seeing this increase in the death toll? Good evening and uh, thank you very much for the wonderful opportunity Yes, it is that time of the year where we are just about to cross to the other year. Let me tell you that, uh, in fact, that figure has gone over 100 people that we have lost since the beginning of uh, December up and until now. We are well over 100 people who have lost their life. Main contributory factors to our road traffic fatalities, mainly, let me just say that almost 70% of the crashes that we have had uh, were pedestrians jaywalking, mm. people generally walking where it is not safe for them to walk. Places such as your freeway, we tend to have many pedestrians who are crossing our public road where generally it is not safe to do so. So we have lost a lot of pedestrians as a result of road crashes that we have had. But it's not only that, it's only that uh, our most vulnerable group is our pedestrian. We also have quite a number of people who were driving, uh, you know, in a speed which was not acceptable for the circumstances. In other words, losing control at a sharp curve also. So we have yeah. come to the realization that most of our people are losing their life because they were driving too fast for the condition. As you may notice, even now, it's raining uh, outside there. So we need people to really comply with, with the rules of the road. Um, uh, what else has your, your, have you and your colleagues noticed in terms of patterns? This is, of course, the first festive season um, that we've had outside of lockdown uh, that we experienced over the last few years as a result of COVID. Uh, uh, have they seen an increase in the number of people making their way out to the province and then making their way back? Um, are they traveling in vehicles that are roadworthy? Have there been other, any other issues that you and your colleagues have picked up this festive season on the Gauteng roads? Uh, definitely sure, because this is the very, uh, you know, first Christmas that people have had to enjoy without the restrictions of COVID-19. So we, uh, our, our traffic volumes on our major road, uh, on our major artillery road, leading into and outside the province, have really been very much busy. But what we have realized is the fact that, uh, you know, general lawlessness, you get a mm -hmm. lot of people, pedestrian, you know, consuming alcohol, going to uh, their places of leisure. The next thing... They cross the road while intoxicated. Those are the type of things that we come across. And also, unsafe overtaking was one of the major causes that we, mm -hmm. uh, we have come to realize during this time of the period. Pe uh, people tend to overtake vehicles where they are not able to see oncoming traffic, even where there is a solid white line prohibiting them mm -hmm. to do so. So we've got a general problem of people non-compliance from the people. But uh, we always encourage our road users at large that we all have the power to, you know, to, to, to arrest the situation, to keep everything under control. If we only comply with the rules of the road, so we should be able to get things uh, under control. Um, and we were talking about this being the first festive post-COVID um, uh, restrictions. It does mean that more people are going to be out there tonight really wanting to let their hair down. Is it an issue that people want to go from one party to another party, to another groove, to another turn up, if I can keep myself young and with the lingo? Is that a problem, that people aren't just staying at one place um, and having a good time and not moving around from there. Um, what are you, you and your, your colleagues planning on the roads tonight, especially after midnight, once revelers start making their way home or on to the next um, event? Well, we know very well that uh, we, we, we cannot prohibit people from moving from one point to the other, you know. 
And we normally tell people that, you know, there are three factors influencing the road safety environment itself. One is the road, the other one is the vehicle, as well as the road user himself or herself. Now, we cannot remove the road or the vehicle from moving. We need people because public roads are being utilized by our road users. So what we are encouraging people to do, we, we, we can't say a person should not move from point A to B. That is left up to them. We encourage them to utilize our public roads, safely store, and in accordance with the law. Uh, let me tell you, uh, again, our traffic officers are out there in large numbers to ensure, you know, to, to, to be there for any situation that may arise. But we don't want to see calamities such as what we have had in the, uh, you know, the box pack calamity. Uh, and therefore, that is why we are having our traffic officers in large number out there. We have mounted various law enforcement operations such as you are drunk and driving operation, which we will be doing throughout the province, just to tap on people who will be taking their chances mm. driving under the influence of intoxicating of alcohol. We include pedestrians as well, because mm. those are the most vulnerable group. Should it happen that we find somebody, uh, you know, uh, being on food while under the influence of mm. intoxicating alcohol, thereby endangering the lives of ordinary road users. Such kind of conduct will never be tolerated by ourselves. Our officers are there in large numbers, and that's precisely where we are having problems. General lawlessness that comes from our pedestrians, as well as our motorists driving under the influence of alcohol. But we, we would want them to arrive alive safely, so we are not going to prohibit them from, you know, uh, mounting a necessary roadblock. We just have got to ensure that everyone else comply with the rules of the road so that we shall all cross over to the new year. Uh, speaking of crossing over to the new year, so New Year's Eve would be a big night for you and your colleagues uh, trying to keep people safe. But then also in the day, in the first week of January, we get that next wave of holiday makers who will be making their way back into the province to start the school and work year as well. Uh, what are you planning in terms of road safety um, in a few days time as you expect those traffic numbers to increase again? Again, well, we, we, we encourage our road users, uh, especially one of the problems that we have picked up is the issue of fatigue. People mm. tend to drive a very long distance without taking a rest. And that is why we are having our road safety practitioners, you know, on your uh, one-stop centers, your places of leisure, where we just raise awareness to say, if you have driven, for example, uh, over two to three hours or so, please take a rest. Do not drive, for example, for a distance uh, you know, from Johannesburg throughout up until your Kuka National Park, you will be driving over 500 and something kilometers without taking a rest. So what we have planned as a law enforcement agency, obviously our officers, all our law enforcement of, uh, officers will be on the ground uh, just to ensure that people are complying. But over and above that, we have got our road safety practitioners at our one-stop centers along the side of the road just to encourage people or to raise awareness to them, to tell them that they need to rest every three to five hours so that mm. uh, we can all arrive safely so. And we are also encouraging our road users. You know, it is it is rainy period. Uh, some of our roads are not in good shape. You have, you have got like, uh, you know, horrible potholes or so. But only if you drive, you know, the permissible speed that is allowed for you to drive, you should be able, even when visibility is hampered in case when it is rainy, you should be able to, you know, to, uh, to interact with a particular situation. But if it is found that a person is doing over 250 kilometers, it becomes extremely difficult mm. when a particular situation then exists for the person to be able to control the vehicle. So we are saying to them, we all have the power to prevent road carnages on our road by simply applying. If you are a pedestrian, by simply, uh, you know, abiding by the rules of the road. If you are a pedestrian, make sure that you can see, you are able to be seen. If you are a motorist, ensure that your vehicle is roadworthy. Interact with other road users responsibly. So that's our message as a law enforcement agency. Okay, we can certainly wish you and your colleagues everything of the best as you continue to try and keep our road users safe. That was Selo Maremane, the spokesperson for Gauteng Traffic Police. We thank him for his time this evening. Uh, 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 very interesting takeaways there from that interview with Selo Maremane. Uh, he has now said, confirmed to us that uh, that number has now risen to over 100 people who have died on Gauteng's roads since the beginning of the 
December period as we bring you these live pictures from, um, I would think it's just around the city centre in Johannesburg. And uh, um, Selo Maramane was uh, explaining to us how law enforcement will be out, they will be visible. We do understand this is part of the Okai Malau campaign that, of course, we know a lot about, especially over weekends. And one can only expect that because it's New Year's Eve that they will really be out in full force, keeping a beady eye um, on people, going out to have a good time and, and encouraging them uh, to do so safely. So these live pictures showing us a bit of that visibility as law enforcement authorities uh, prepare for what's expected to be a rather busy night. As we repeatedly said in that conversation with Selo Maramane, this is the first New Year's Eve since the dropping of those COVID-19 restrictions um, and uh, some level of lockdown. So many people will be out, and rightly so, trying to have a good time. The hope is just that they do so safely. So over 100 people, sadly, have already lost their lives. Selo Marimane is saying a large number of the, that number are pedestrians um, uh, uh, who have lost their lives, not crossing the road where they're supposed to. So they've been focusing a lot on all road users, drivers of vehicles, as well as pedestrians um, who walk along our highways and byways uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, they are putting a lot of emphasis on their drunken driving campaigns, but they say that includes drinking and driving as well as um, drinking and walking. The pedestrians who are under the influence as well, causing problems on the roads. He also said that unsafe overtaking is a major issue, especially uh, with our drivers who are on long roads coming into the province from elsewhere, bringing holiday makers home and hoping to do so safely as well. If you've just joined us, these are live pictures coming to you from uh, just outside the Joburg city centre or inside the Joburg city centre. If you're from Joburg, you can recognise that spot very well. We do understand this is part of law enforcement's Okai Malau campaign um, and they are obviously expecting to be rather busy tonight as uh, Josie um, gears up for a busy New Year's Eve. We'll be bringing you more on that throughout the evening.